Hi Virgo, this is Patricia from Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your mid-month November reading from November 15th to November 30th, 2017. For the new subscribers, I am a psychic medium. I am active in my community for over 20 years giving channel messages through my angels, spirit guides and through my ancestors. And I'm also known on a worldwide basis giving one-on-one -on -one personal readings. And for the Virgos that have been with me from the beginning, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm very humbled and overwhelmed by all your likes, shares, and views, and for the beautiful comments that you leave me. Uh, just know that I really appreciate uh, every one of you, okay? Uh, and I'm very uh, happy and feeling blessed that you are here with me. I have a, uh, an affinity for Virgos. Um, on my mom's side of the family, I have like maybe 20 cousin, aunts, grandfather, grandmothers that were our Virgos, um, you know, and I grew up with Virgos. So it's I love Virgos because of their energy and who they represent. And they, you know, they, they represent the truth, okay? So, and also, um, uh, before I get started with your reading, I would like to just make a few announcements if it's possible, okay? Underneath this uh, video, okay, there's a little icon. If you press on it, you can see all my information there, okay? Uh, if you want a private reading, one-on-one -on -one reading, you could uh, contact me through my email, okay? Uh, and uh, I'm also in partnership with Instant Goal, uh, dot inc. It's, um, it's, a, it's an app for psychic mediums, and I got in partnership with them last month. And it's really great. It's for people that have iPhones and iPads only. Um, it's like having a psychic on a speed dial, okay? Well, that's what it is. And uh, you could call me. And um, if I'm not, uh, you could call me or leave me a message. Ask me a message. You could leave me a message. But also, if you want a question answered right now, uh, uh, in the month of November, I am uh, doing a special on Instant Go. It's uh, $5 a question. And it's a dollar fifty a minute if you want to talk to me, okay? And... Uh, it's good for the people that want the 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minute readings. But right now it's only for iPad and iPhone. And eventually, well, they are working now at this moment uh, to uh, give the service for Androids and smartphones as well. Okay. But if you, if you don't have an iPhone or an iPad, it's okay. You can still contact me through my email. Okay. And um, yeah, so basically uh, that's what I want to tell you. And um if it's possible, um, you know, I do have, um, uh, my son has a channel that he's starting to uh, do uh, gaming on, okay, he's been working on it, and uh, I don't like to implicate anything on anybody, but if, uh, if you know, um, in case of a lot of you don't, you can't give me donations, okay, which is okay, because not everybody, you know, has to give me a donation, but of course, a lot of my subscribers has, had asked me to put a donation button there. But instead of giving me the donation, I, uh, if you want, if you can, you know, um, uh, I left a link there at the bottom for my son. It's Vinny99, okay? And uh, he's a, he does games on uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, and um, maybe just to subscribe to him. But you don't have to, like, you know, uh, get notifications when he puts up his... Uh, but he just needs help, a bit of support to lift it up and uh, to lift this channel up. And um, if, you know, if uh, you, if I'm not asking you to do it, but if you want to do it, I, I would be really appreciative. And I know some of my uh, subscribers already did. And I want to thank you for doing that for my son because he's just starting off and he wants to do something. And, you know, I always support my children in whatever they want to do. Okay. So thank you for that. And now uh, let's get to your reading, Virgo. Okay. So Virgos, when I was um, meditating in your... Um, when I was starting to meditate with your cards and start shuffling them, and I started uh, getting a lot of messages from my angels right away, uh, a lot of you are dealing with your twin flames. I see a twin flame union here, okay? Um, they show me the twin flame union. Uh, they also showed me uh, a water energy around you. It could be like um, uh, like a water element. So I, I, I could, well, I'm sorry, uh, and a water element because they showed me a lot of water. So uh, I felt maybe it was a cancer Cap, uh, cancer scorpio or pisces that could be around you but again it's a general reading it could be any sign but i saw a lot of water okay element and i saw balance also there's like a balance like or you're very balanced right now uh some of you virgos okay and there's also um i i saw uh marriage for some of you i saw that you have to still uh, your faith is uh, at this moment very strong 
Okay, this is not for all of you. This is for uh, some of you. Just remember, I'm reading for Virgo on the collective. And um, so, uh, you know, uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, this reading, just always check your rising, your moon, and your Venus sign, okay? Because I always put Venus in my in my readings. I see a re I see um the some of you are separated from a soulmate union here too. I felt, and the angels tell me also that uh, uh, there is new uh, beginnings. Okay, there's an offering that's coming. There's an offering, or an apology, something of an offering or an apology. Someone coming back and to apologize and to explain their truth. Okay, towards you. Okay. It, that could be also, I also see a lot of you having, uh, you're reevaluating at everything at this moment, okay? You're just thinking about things. And uh, a lot of you are also resisting the changes that are coming, okay? This is what the angels are telling me. And something about justice, okay? Like justice is going to be on your side, okay? So let's just get started with your reading, okay, Virgo? I already took enough of your time uh, before. Just um, here we go. We're going to start with this one here. This uh, with this deck here, I'm, I already shuffled. I'm just gonna shuffle them a bit more just to refresh them. Okay. Oops. There we go. I feel all you uh, Virgos have been working on yourself a lot. I feel like you've been doing a lot of self love, self affirmations. I feel you're working very hard as well. Um, or if you're not working hard, you're really working hard on yourself, okay? I feel you really had time to be with, by yourself and really, um, you know, get in touch with your true feelings. I really feel that for a lot of Virgos, okay? Oop. There we go. There we go. This card came out. <laughs> Look at that. Okay? It just flew out of the deck. Justice, okay? So there is justice coming towards you if those of you that... I feel that you have been wronged or something in the past. I feel a lot of you are probably dealing maybe also with someone that is from like, it could be police force, army force, uh, you know, judges, or some of you are going through a divorce where, you know, here it shows me if you are going through a divorce, you are going to be winning in courts, but, or it's a Libra that's around you, okay? So let's go put it back in the deck because i uh, see if it comes out in your reading again. Um, I really love my angels, how they work. They're so awesome. They're so awesome. The angels are so awesome. So blessed. So blessed to have the angels channel my messages and and um, their messages to, through me to give to you. So just one more shuffle, they told me. Okay. And there we go. So what's your reading, Virgo? How you guys been doing? Are you guys doing good for this month of November? I know it's been like a tough month for a lot of people. Okay, and uh, yes, you could reach out to me and leave your comments if you like. I like to hear what's going on in your life, uh, Virgos. And just know when I like and I bless, uh, when I like and put a heart in your reading, like when you, not in your reading, but when you leave me a comment, I always put a heart. Just know that the angels and I are blessing you at that moment, okay? Uh, I feel here, okay, now, for some Virgos out there, okay? That there's a change that's coming about, okay? You're resisting a change. Some of you are resisting something, okay? And a lot and your challenge is here, the thing is that you're very uh right now, you are standing for yourself, you're standing up for yourself. Uh you feel like let's say it's like as if like you know, you're you're like um stand off stand offish. Which I mean what I mean by that is that you are taking charge, but at the same time you're like in charge but you're also like if anything or anyone comes around you to you know uh hurt you or to try to say something to you i feel that like you're gonna take a position where you're gonna stand up but it's a challenge okay this is a challenge and i feel that it has to do with this resisting that you're doing there's a change that has to come about and i think you're not you're you're putting up like you're not going through the like you're not letting it happen okay this is what i'm feeling here uh, I feel that in the recent past, or you, Virgo, or somebody walked away, okay? You could have, a lot of you could have walked away from a soulmate, okay? Um, or a relationship here. It could have been with the king, the king of cups. Again, I got, like, the water energy. Remember I, I told you from the beginning? Wait a second, there's a glare here. Let me just try to fix the glare. Okay, there's too much glare. I'm just trying to fix my glare. Hold on a second. Here we go. Okay. So, but uh, I told you I felt a water element around you, right? So, and uh, so I did mention the water uh, elements, which is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And I feel that uh, this could be you, 
uh, uh, Virgo that's feeling this way. You're unbalanced. You're not feeling sure. You're reevaluating everything. You probably walked away from something. I feel that you just let your guards down and you just, uh, or this is someone you're, that you're dealing with that is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that is uh, right now unbalanced. They're not in their element. They're unstable. It could be they're going through many changes in their life at this moment, okay? Because there's a lot of new beginnings, but there's also endings. And I'm not meaning endings in relationship. It's like the number eight, you know, the infinity signs. There's never an ending and never a beginning. It's just a continuously flow. But things have to change, right? And sometimes there's endings and stuff. It could be endings in beliefs, systems. It could, believe. it could be in, in how you think and how you proceed how you do things but here what i'm seeing here okay uh virgo is that it could be also somebody okay uh and uh that was unstable he's this person is right, right now taking a step back and reevaluating uh his whole life or her whole life okay and right now they're not really present they probably walked away from you or you walked away from them okay um i do see in the near future that um there is a, a um, an earth element that's coming towards you. This could be Virgo, uh, Taurus, or Capricorn, but this could also be you standing in your power, who you are, okay, which is like you're in your, um, this could be that you are in your element, you're making money, or some of you, I see that there's a job coming for you, okay, but you will, you are refined. Um, I see that you're like, um, you know, you, you probably own your own home, or uh, this could also be the King of Cups, the reverse, okay, that's coming in with this card. I feel that like these people are the same people. I don't know, but I, I'm feeling like, let's say, if those of you that are probably dealing with a Capricorn Taurus, and they have like a water energy uh, in their chart, okay, or they have, they are a water energy, and they have a pentacle in their, um, they have a, not pentacle, sorry, uh, but pentacles is earth sign, but I meant to say they have an earth ele uh, an element about them, okay? But I feel that they uh, that this is the same person, but again, it could be two separate people as well because it's a general reading, okay? So let's go forth. There we go. The justice card came out again. <laughs> it just came out again. So I feel that uh, things will be in balance with this person again, okay? I feel that uh, justice will prevail, from all of you, could be that the ones that are going through a divorce, you're going to win in court. I feel that also uh, this King of Cups that right now, this could be you as well, how you're feeling. This is your energy as well. Or it could be someone that you, that you walked away from or they walked away from you. I feel that they will restore in their balance, okay, or you will, okay, and you will stand in your truth, okay, of Virgos, because Virgos stand always in their truth, okay, and... Uh, very much in balance okay very much in balance or this relationship if this is a relationship it will be in balance okay but at this moment okay things are not clear at this moment okay you did get if the ace of uh, swords was upright like this it would show me that you'll be in your clarity and be in your truth but right now you don't see things very clearly okay so you're confused maybe there's things you're questioning uh but you don't see something very you don't see something clearly at this moment okay i feel a lot of you here okay are not you're you're not patient i feel that you're you're lacking patience okay and by when the card is upright it shows me that you this is a patient very patient very refined um you know in your element but because it's reversed it's showing me that you need to cultivate to be a bit more patient, Virgo, depending what it is that you are uh, want to rush. Do not rush anything because everything is in divine timing, okay? Just remember that. And again, okay, I really believe this is a couple here, okay? Uh, this could be you and your couple, maybe you, you and whoever, your significant other. It's Now, this is the element, okay? I see Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here. But this could be your element as well, okay? You're probably feeling the same thing. If this is your twin flame, okay? Uh, you're probably feeling the same emotions. You're both withdrawn. You're both in your own thoughts. You're both on balance. Uh, a lot of emotions, uh, you know, uh, getting... There's things that need to be cleared, okay? So I do see that. I do see this as, as, uh, at, at the moment, okay? 
I see that in the past there was a lot of fighting, maybe like petty fighting. It wasn't, uh, you know, I'm, some of you are separated from uh, a soulmate. And again, uh, the, the angels are confirming again through my cards and they confirmed through me at the beginning. When it's reversed like this, this is, sorry, this is my soulmate card when it's upright. But when it's reversed, it's telling me that you got there's some some kind of separation going on. Okay, maybe you don't live in the same house at this moment. You're probably, um, you know, um, there's a lot of anxiety and fear around the situation. I feel there's a lot of anxiety and fears, um, not sleeping well at night, um, a lot in your thoughts. Okay, I feel that there's, a, you know, that's why there's this confusion going on. Uh, <clears throat> but communication will start again. And it will start on a, I feel that there's like, some kind of communication that <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of messages here. Give me a second. I feel that there's a lot of, uh, of of Virgos right now that are separated from their soulmate, okay, or twin flame. Even though I don't have the twin flame card here, I feel that in, in the in the reading, I feel that there was an imbalance and that there's um, someone walked away, okay, or it was you, Virgo, or it was your partner or whoever you were with okay but i feel that communication will start again uh in the near future uh and the truth will be revealed to you why this person walked away or why you walked away but there's going to come to a point where um you know there's going to there's going to be justice brought to this okay and it's and it's going to be restored in balance but at this moment uh, a lot of yous are not in balance and if it's not you it's this water energy here because I really feel that this is a reading for somebody uh, whoever that's watching for Virgo uh, if this is for you just let let you know that there is uh, a chance of there's a lot of fear okay there's a lot of fear here a lot of anxiety not knowing because the person is too much in their mind they're not going into their heart and there's an imbalance also Okay, um, they're not taking reins of the situation. Someone's not taking control. Okay, and I feel it's a, it could be a Cancer. It could also be a Sagittarius here. I do see a Sagittarius as well. Um, but I do see a movement forward. Okay, and there is love restored. Okay, so there is love restored. Okay, uh, there is a new beginning. It's going to be very overwhelming. The emotions are going to feel very overwhelming. But I do feel an imbalance. I feel a pull. Maybe the person you're with is working too much and doesn't give enough time for you at home or it's like they're away you know and I feel ah I just got the, uh, the angels saying war so maybe some of you are dealing with uh, a lot of your husbands or partners that you're with or your soulmate or twin flame is in war meaning he's a soldier or he's yeah he's something a soldier and maybe uh, you know there's two I feel like something of a soldier here. This is what the angels are telling me. Something of a soldier that there's a separation. And that's why there's like anxiety and fear and uh, not in balance. You know, um, um, I feel that, um, you know, too much not balancing work with family or, you know, that's what I'm feeling here. But you will have the strength to go through this. Okay, uh, Virgos. And a lot of you are dealing with a Leo as well. It could be that you're dealing with a Leo, and right now the uh, Virgo, you're like you're like the magician. You're you're manifesting very quickly, and uh, I think that every reading I did for the mid month, a lot of people are manifesting at this moment because it is the eleven eleventh, right? So just always know and always keep your thoughts very clear about not only about yourself, like self talk about yourself, but also about how you talk to other people. Okay, always know. That um, that you have to be um, clear in what your thoughts are because there, something's manifesting very quickly towards you. Okay, I do see like this person is coming in and out of your life, and I think that's why in the recent past some of you's walked away or that someone walked away from you. There was a lot of imbalance happening. Okay, um, but it's just it's a judgment. And I really think that this person is coming back, okay? Um, it could be also a younger energy of uh, Earth, okay, which is uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But this is also could be uh, you uh, that is going to be... Uh, was, this could also be a job offer that's coming towards you as well. But there's a judgment here, okay? The angels, okay? And um, maybe some of you lost a job. You don't have a job anymore, 
okay you're not working but i do see something in coming in for you an offering of some kind and uh there is victory okay uh you did get the six of wands there is victory okay look how beautiful this card is i don't know if you see it um but this is victory here okay and uh there will be a new beginning for this love that's coming in you're going to be uh, uh you're going to be uh you know setting goals for the for the moment uh maybe seeing each other uh going out uh, just uh, you know spending a lot of time together and rekindling okay i do see this and it is from the cosmos because i did get the star card and that for me the star card uh a lot of people see it's an imbalanced card i really don't see it that way i don't read tarot in that way I read it through my angels, and angels are saying that this is really from the cosmos, okay? That's why it's, ju it's a judgment from them, the cosmos. And a lot, of, a lot of you Virgos, I feel that you feel that you're carrying a lot on your shoulders at this moment, okay? And uh, uh, it will be the ending of that, okay? When it's the 10, okay, it's always a, a, a new beginning. And I feel a lot of you, will uh, this situation will lift a lot from your shoulders, okay? And you will feel better. Okay, and a lot of you, like I said, have been working on yourselves a lot. Now, if you haven't been working, this is that you are working on you. Okay, like you are doing your self-affirmations, your self-love, you're meditating, you're taking care of you, and you're you're putting yourself first. So congratulations. And for others of you, that means that there that you let's say for others of you who have who are working, you've been working very hard in making those little pentacles. Okay, so congratulations on that. Okay, because I see that there's work here. And right now, okay, in the near future, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Now, it's reversed, okay? The card is reversed. It doesn't mean it's not coming for you. It will. But the angels and the universe are clearing a lot of things around you. And this is all in divine timing. So everything that went wrong in the past for you will be coming to you in tenfold, okay? Just always have the faith, okay? Because it's coming for you, Virgo. And, um, you know, I feel like a lot of you are not sleeping. But there is someone from the past... I feel that's coming back also to give you an apology. I feel that they're going to give you an apology and they're going to come and talk to you again and maybe set things clear for you. I really feel this for a lot of you. Now I'm just going to take one more card just to finalize, okay? One more card for my aim. One more card. Outcome. What's the outcome for my beautiful Virgos? Okay, what is a beautiful... One more card. What's the final? What card do you want to give my Virgos for the outcome cards? Oh, too many cards. <laughs> no, too much. One card. One card for Virgos. to want to come out but these are not the cards i wanted to i really wanted to come out like come on what are the messages angels for virgos sun moon rising venus from november 15th to november 30th 2017 one final card for virgos one final card for virgos is there anything you want to tell virgos I'm trying to get you a final card here, <laughs> but I don't think my angels want. I think that I put a lot of cards on the floor already. Is there anything else I could tell my Virgos? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, there we go. Yes, there's a new beginning. Okay. Um, when I get the pages, it could be also children. Some of you that have children, I see that they're in their element and they're doing very well. Some of them are very, um, I feel someone is a singer or a public speaker or uh, is always very good with his voice or her voice. And I do see a, uh, an opportunity for your, your children uh, to, move, to, move, to move up uh, in, in uh, their careers or whatever that their passion is. But when I do get, the, uh, but also the angels, because I don't read the cards like other people, like I said, okay. My angels tell me this, okay, right now, that this is an offering that's coming in. There's uh, someone that's coming in, it could be from someone that you walked away from or they walked away from you where you um, you were left a bit unbalanced here and you couldn't sleep and, um, you know, and there was a, 
a lot of impatience going on here. I feel like a lot of you, what's happening here is that there's someone that's coming in to offer, to tell you, someone maybe from the past, the person that you walked away from or they walked away from you, that will come in and ask you for your forgiveness. And they will explain everything to you. They'll tell you everything, okay? But at this moment, I feel that they can't, okay? But I don't, I don't see no third-party situation here. And the last card, okay, look, guys, I'm going to tell you, this is completion for you, okay? You got the nine... Of cups wishes coming true I just need that to be patient and know that the universe is working behind the scenes and all the also the angels are working behind clearing everything out and the, your wishes will be coming true okay I just have to have patience okay and it's completion I think when this person comes back I don't know who I'm reading for but I really feel that this is a personal reading here um, it will be completion uh, all your all the past, I'm trying not to get the glare here, but I'm getting too much glare. Let's move this, okay. Let's see, <laughs> here we go. I found a place with no glare. So, completion from karmic experiences, from any karmic relationships. It doesn't have to be a relationship, it could be friendship, it could be anything. But there's a completion here, and you're um, at the end of it, and there's going to be a new beginning for you. And it's also a card that you're going to be traveling. Okay, I do see traveling as well. And here you go, you got the ace. The ace, you got the ace of um, wands. That's a new beginning in love. Okay, something that's going to fire you up. It's going to bring you back to where you once were in love. In love with love. Okay, or a new creative idea that's coming towards you as well. Okay, so this is the first part of the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And beautiful Virgos. Now we're going to go to the second part. So, okay, we'll go with these ones. Okay, see if, if I could get more people out there. Here are the messages for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from November 15th to November 20th. Here are the messages for Virgos. Here are the messages for Virgos. Oh, that one didn't even take. So, okay, that angel said the cards are ready. Okay. We're going to cut them in three. The Trinity. And here we go. A lot of you right now are going through transformations of Virgos. It could also be that you are dealing with a Scorpio. But I do feel a transformation for you coming. And your challenge and obstacle is a younger sign. Okay. It could be... Um, uh, Virgo, uh, Capricorn, or Taurus, or this is you, okay? Um, it could be that uh, I feel there's an offering coming towards you, okay? I feel there's someone coming towards you for an offering. We're going to go deeper into the reading and see what's going on. I feel a lot of you are also dealing with a fire energy younger than you. It could be uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. I feel there was a false start over here with this person maybe the person the person um, you're dealing with is an energy that keeps coming in and out of your life and there was a false start I feel also there was a, some kind of bond you were bonded to someone in the recent past could be addictions as well okay or it could be a Capricorn okay and maybe this is where uh, you know the, the, the pentacle card is you're resisting there's a transformation with this person that's going on Okay, um, I feel a lot of you are, you have your heart closed to this person. You don't want to open your heart. Um, or is, is or that you are scared that you're going to run out of money. Maybe some of you are not working. It could be that too as well. Okay. Uh, I do see a twin flame union card here. So I feel like a lot of you are, you, you are with your twin flame. But there's some kind of transformation that is taking place between both of you. Okay, um, so this is a twin flame card. And uh, it's going to be a brand new love, a new start. I feel that a lot of you are ending a, a cycle in your relationship. And you're, uh, you're beginning something new. Because we are in the fifth dimension. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the ace, which is a beautiful card. I think some of you are resisting 
you're you're going to be going through major transformations. Like I said, it could be with Scorpio, could be with a, a Earth element, a Fire element. I have Capricorn here, okay, and uh, you have the Sun that's shining. So this is a very powerful card. It's also a Leo. But it could also represent a Leo, but it is a powerful card. The sun is helping to take away everything that's uh, not for your highest good around you in energies. And it's pushing you to the right direction, okay? So you're really hoping for this to happen for yourselves. And I feel, again, some of you are dealing with a fire energy. It could be um, Sagittarius, Leo, okay, or uh, Aries. But it doesn't have to be. It could be any sign because I am doing a general reading. Okay, but I feel, or this is you, or this is them. Okay, Virgo, that they're in, there, they're they're not stable. They're like they they come, they come, they go. Right now, they're not in their element. I feel that they're not in the element. So I feel like you're gonna be going through a transformation with this person, but you're not opening your heart to them. Okay, um, some of you are also dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here, but this person is very intuitive, and but they. They're, they're very intuitive people. Um, they're very grounded at this moment. They are very, uh, they could be like tarot readers, uh, or they could be uh, just a very a gentle, kind, uh, loving energy from this from the, this uh, person. Okay, it could be a, a man or a woman. But a lot of you are carrying a lot on your shoulders right now, and you're just carrying a lot on your shoulders. A lot of you are stuck in anxiety and fear of this okay and fear is an illusion okay virgo fear does not exist fear is there to stop you on your fear is there to stop you on your tracks okay um, it, fear feeds off of you so you need to let go of this fear and this anxiety it could be because of all the moons that have been happening all the full moons okay i feel there's some kind of imbalance right now but you are working on yourself again i got the card that you're working on yourself i'm going to show you Again, you got the Nine of Pentacles here, okay? And this shows me that you are been working hard on yourselves, but there's still some kind of imbalance between you and this partner. Could be, here it's showing me a twin flame, but this will not apply for, for all of you. But there's still a bit of an imbalance that you probably give too much and you don't receive enough, or they give too much or they don't receive from you. Whatever the case is, you're still working hard on yourself. I feel that you, a lot of you are working by yourself, and you're the one that's the bread uh, keeper in the house, meaning that you're the one that pays all the bills, and you're carrying a lot on your shoulders. It could be that as well. Some of you right now are very, very uh, in tune with your... Uh, your, um, your in, um, you're very much in tune with yourself and your... Um, and in your intuition is very, very strong at this moment, okay? And I feel that you're going to... I feel some of you also, for Virgos, are um, in balance, okay? You are in balance, or this is your the, the person you're dealing with, who could be a Cancer or Sagittarius, or this is you uh, that's going to take the reins and is going to move forward, okay? Because you know where you're going, okay? You have a vision and a plan, okay? And uh, I also see traveling. Maybe you're going to be traveling back and forth, Okay? And again here, look, I'm going to just show you, Virgo. Now, this is not for all of you, but this is for some of you, okay? Uh, you'll know who I'm reading for, okay? You got the Nine of Pentacles here, okay? This is the Nine of Pentacles, and this is your Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is having everything, a new beginning in career, finances. Uh, also, I feel in your love life, I feel this is a new beginning with family and friends, it's really a brand new start for you, and I'm really happy to see this, uh, Virgo. Very, very happy, okay? I feel a lot of you walked away from your past. You don't want to know nothing from your past anymore, and you're concentrating on the moment, okay? I see again, okay, a new start, a new fresh start, it could be, or a brand new start, okay? A new beginning, uh, it could be a love relationship uh, that's coming in for you, that's going to spark your heart, and open that heart of yours again. Or this could be that you start something creative, you start some kind of project, and it's going to blossom, okay? Because this is a beautiful card to get. But I feel a lot of you walked away from this, uh, This um, you walked away from your past, like I said, or you walked away from this energy uh, of, uh, of the fire energy that I see here, okay? Um, A lot of their, your card came out, Virgo. Okay, you 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 are doing what you normally do, which you love to do. This is spend time at home, spend time 
uh, reflecting, being in your own shell, and um, you know, and setting your your goals, your steps, and like really bringing light to any situation that you're going through. So I really like that about you, uh, Virgo, and. I feel that a lot of you could also be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or, or, or Taurus, but this could also be you in the near future. I feel that uh, you're going to be standing in your own throne, uh, money coming in. I do see this. I see that you're going to be grounded. Uh, you, you're going to be grounded. But I feel some of you are dealing with an element of an air sign. Okay, I, I'm getting also um, um, Libra, uh, Aquarius, and Gemini. Maybe someone that is um, right now, they're, or you're, this is at the moment, okay, that you're feeling like uh, you're um, unclear, unsure uh, at this moment. But things will be better, okay? Things, we're gonna, things are going to get better and you are going to hope in your heart. And again, I feel that some of you are creating something or you, you're recreating yourself again, Virgo. I feel that for a lot of you, and I feel that you're, like, you're going through a rebirth. This is what I'm feeling for you, with your twin flame as well, if there's a twin flame. Now, this is not going to be for every one of you, but I feel some of you will have this, okay? And some of you are also dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, again. I'm bringing those signs because that's what they're showing me. Someone, I feel that some of you are dating someone that's like in the, you know, like a police officer, someone with a badge or something with badges, someone with honor, okay? And you got the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune is like all things that are going to come to you. Everything that was wronged in the past will bring, it will be brought forth to you. This could be through love, could be through friendships, health. It could be through monetary, but there is a Wheel of Fortune that's coming towards you, okay? And I can uh, ask one more card, okay, from my angels as the outcome cards. What's the outcome card? Oh, there we go. I'm fine. Okay. Again, the tower card. Okay. But it came like this. Okay. You have, you're going, a lot of you are going through a trans transformation. It could be that you're dealing with a Scorpio. And a lot of you are, are resisting the change. Okay. Please do not resist because what the universe and angels are trying to do is they're trying to bring you more balance in your life. Okay. And they're trying to bring you gifts and if you're going through a transformation and you're gonna uh, and you're resisting it, um, you're resisting it. Okay, don't resist it. Just let it flow and just know that the angels are there. Okay, the angels are there and they're protecting you. And I do see here that another card that I received here is that whatever the situation is, Virgo, I see that there's movement forward. I see also a lot of you working in the, a lot of you that are not working will be working with a lot of people and. Uh, you're going to be evolving and bonding and growing with these people at work. And this is also a card for people that are in a relationship or getting in a relationship. Though I do see that there is going to be movement forward with this person where you're going to build, grow, and evolve with them. Okay? So, this is the second part. Now I'm going to go to the third part of the reading, Virgo, for you. There we go. Okay, where are the messages for the sun, moon, rising, oh, and Venus? Your look is popped out. You got the Ten of Cups, Virgo. New beginnings, okay? Everything you ever wanted. Uh, new beginnings, love. New beginnings in love could also be with friendships, family, children. But it's a new beginning, and it's all that you ever wanted, okay? So I'm very happy to see this for you, Virgo. Messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here are the messages. Just stay in the moment and just know everything is working out, okay? Everything is being worked behind the scenes for you. One more, the angels say. Okay, one more. Okay, here we go. It's ready. Where are the messages? There's a new offering coming in for some of you some offering of love that's coming towards you and it's completion i feel some of you have to travel for this love and it's a challenge for you maybe you don't want to leave um you want to leave your hometown i feel here uh, you're, you you have fears about that and uh the challenge here or your obstacle is that knowing that uh this is a new beginning and that a lot of you um, 
any one of you that went through karmic relationships in the past, uh, is, angels are saying here that you, um, you, you completed them. There's not going to be any more tests or complications in relationships. Okay, but there is a new person. I feel this person lives like um, near the ocean. Um, I feel that they live near the ocean. And uh, there's going to be traveling, okay? So this is a resistant. A lot of yous are, again, the Twin Flame card came out again. In the near future, I feel like a lot of you are going to be getting together with a Twin Flame, okay? Um, I feel that um, in the pa in this recent past, there was a lot of crying. Um, but you're, there was crying and confusion. But I feel that, that you got rid of that. And there was also an energy around you that a person that was not honest. Now, again, I'm just a messenger here. It could be that you were not honest also, Virgo, okay? Or it could be that that person wasn't honest with you. But this... Uh, but this is an old energy, okay? And it's it's not that anymore, okay? Um, I feel that some of you were dealing with an air element. It could be um, Libra, Gemini, and um, Aquarius, okay? This person was, um, or this is you, or this is them, whoever they this person is, that was not in their thoughts. They were too much in their thoughts, not clear, um, confused. There was a lot of confusion here. But there is a new beginning here for you. There's an offering, okay? And it is a, it's coming from a twin flame union. And again, there's two offerings here, okay? There's an offering. There's an offering coming in. I feel some of you could be from a, also water element, which is Cancer, uh, Scorpio, or Pisces, or an earth element. There's Virgo, uh, Capricorn, and Taurus, okay? I feel that uh, some of you in the past had dealt with people around you. It could be from this air element, but remember, this is a general reading, so it could be anybody at this moment. But I let's let's talk about the energy here, okay? Because it's the energy that I'm talking about, okay? The energy of this person was that they, I, I feel a lot of you, they or they were hiding stuff from you. They weren't being sincere, um, feeling that they were taking a lot of your energy, a lot of your time. They were confused. They were not clear. And there was a lot of backstabbing, but like someone that didn't have your back, okay? But this is all in the past, this energy, but it's still in your reading, okay? I don't see this person here, but I, I feel their energy is still with you. That's what I'm feeling, okay? And you're hoping to grow and evolve with your twin. I do see that, okay? But you have to remember, there's endings and new beginnings and happening, okay? And a lot of people on the collective were going through very hard times, okay? Uh, depending on their chart and, you know, who they are, okay? And how their life or how their, their childhood life was. And there's so many things, you know, sometimes it takes time for a person to heal and become whole again, okay? Uh, but this was something from the past. But like I said, the energy is still here. And I feel a lot of you are dealing, again, they keep showing me a water element, okay? So I see Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or uh, this, person's will, this person will restore their balance again. They will be fine. Or this is you that's feeling like this, okay? So um, I feel right now, at this moment, okay, it's just a bit uh, unbalanced. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra as well. Okay, but it's unbalanced. But there's messages that will be coming through. Okay, and you have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, you have. The, but the Ace of Pentacles right now it's reversed. If it's doesn't matter if the car is reversed or not reversed. Okay, uh, Virgos, it's still coming towards you. It's just in delay. Okay, until this is figured out. Okay, there's something that needs to be fixed here. Okay, and resolved. Okay, because uh, there's a lot. I feel there's an imbalance that's here at this moment maybe you're feeling unbalanced or it could be your partner or if uh, there's some kind of imbalance that's going on and the angels are telling me that they they're asking you okay if it's possible that you guys could do a gratitude list okay and i think i, I my angels have uh, told that to every sign that there has to be a gratitude list that has to be done because i, I feel a lot of you are not seeing the you're not being grateful for what you have already. And you're just looking at things that are wrong and you're not focusing on the things that are right, okay? So by doing a gratitude list, maybe 
uh, you're going to get in touch with and understand what's going on because it will make you feel grateful. Okay. Um, I feel a lot of you, there's a quick message. It's going to be an unexpected message coming in for you. Okay. Unexpected messages are going to be coming in for you. I feel a lot of you feel like you're like uh, hurt completely uh, f from uh, whatever, whatever the situation here is, it is here. There was, a, um, you know, you feel like a lot of backs, you feel like um, that there's no new way to get out of it, but there is because the light is shining on you, okay? And here is something something from the past. If it would have been like this to card, it would have showed me that this is happening now. It's not happening now. This was in your past, but you're still carrying this energy. You need to heal your heart, Virgos. You need to heal because you, you, you just have to let go of this. You need to release, okay? And there's messages that will be coming in for you, okay, shortly, okay? And there's going to... You need to do a lot of work with this. There's a lot of work to be done <clears throat> with this person. A lot of you could be also dealing with a fire sign. It could be um, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Okay, I feel again this element of not being clear, not being in your head. No, sorry, being in your head, not being clear, confusion, not being in your ground. Can't speak, you're not even speaking your truth. I don't know. I, or this is you or this is somebody else, okay? Uh, that could be your twin flame that's coming in in your future, okay? Uh, but it shows me here in the near future you will have balance and you will also have, um, you will have uh, patience, okay? Some of you are dealing with a Sag. Some of you are tarot readers, okay? Um, and uh, you're very high with your intuition and you're trying to figure, you're probably doing a lot of your cards. You're doing your cards to figure out what's happening in your relationship and angels are saying, that you cannot do your own cards because you're too close to the situation. You have to go see someone that you trust that could do the cards for you. You can't just get any card reader. You need to get someone that's a, like a, someone that is very connected to their uh, spirit guides, angels, and uh, ancestors. Okay, uh, but you are if you are a tarot reader, uh, you are also doing well in your business. Okay, as well, and the, and the angels applaud you. You're very close to your two dogs as well. Uh, they look like wolves more than they look like dogs, but um, you get that a lot, okay? And um, I see that right now uh, some of you are not going to be moving or relocating anywhere, even though you wish to. That's not happening at this moment. You're just waiting. You're just waiting and waiting, okay? So let's just take one final card here uh, just to see what's going on, okay? One final, uh, uh, I want to take an out outcome card for the whole reading. There you go. You got the four pentacles. Okay, your hearts are not open. You need to heal your heart. Okay. And uh, some of you that uh, feel that you're not going to make it in money, the angels are asking you to let go of that because that's a fear. And a fear is an illusion. It does not exist. The fear is there to, to stop you from moving forward and advancing in your life. Angels say that whatever you do, just know that they're always there supporting, guiding you. Okay. And uh, whatever that it is that you're going to be provided to let go of that energy of feeling that you don't have enough. Because when you think like that, when your heart is closed, the universe will keep bringing you situations pertaining to what you're thinking. Just remember, whatever you're thinking, you're creating. And right now, it's a very crucial time, Virgo, okay, in November, because a lot of people are manifesting very quickly, and you want to be manifesting the right things to you, not the bad things, okay? This is what I'm getting. So, now... I have uh, before I started when I before I started this reading these readings, I took out oracle cards. I was shuffling them, and some of them popped out of the deck. Okay, just know that oracle cards are very powerful cards. Okay, they're as powerful as tarot cards, and they're always the messages behind any oracle card. Okay, as a very powerful message, and uh, I hope you listen to the end of it because they're very powerful. Okay, the messages when it comes to oracle cards. You got the most, a lot of cards from everybody else, okay, that popped out. You got three from the Psychic Tarot. You got two from my new deck, uh, Chakra. The Chakra, um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's something Chakra. Let me see. Let me just see if I can get the book out and get you the real name. Okay. It's called Chakra Wisdom Oracle, okay? And you got two, three from the universe and two from conscious spirit, okay? So we're going to go with the psychic... Psychic, uh, psychic tarot. Okay, here you got number two. 
Virgos. Okay, this is the sacral chakra. I feel like a lot of you should be getting the essential oil for the sacral. That will help you a lot. A lot of healing should be done around this as well. Okay, I feel a lot of you are already healed in this, and I feel others aren't, okay? So just, uh, there's some kind of imbalance with your sacral chakra, so maybe you could do some meditations on that. There is a lot on YouTube, okay? You could check that, or you could check Doreen Virtue, okay? Uh, she has a lot of good meditations on that, okay? And she, I trust her energy, because she has an angelic uh, energy. Next card you got is New Beginnings. There you go. You got New Beginnings coming, Okay? Number zero, this is the universe that's bringing this to you, okay? You see you're on top of the world here. It's a world, new beginning. Probably a lot of you feel there's like an unknown energy around you and you that's what you're fearing because you are, you know, you're not used to this kind of energy. But just know there's a new beginning coming towards you. And a lot of you have also number six. So you got 62 or 26, if it means anything for you, or... Or it could be 260 or 206 or 602, okay? Either or, it comes to number 8, which is infinity. A lot of you have memories of love. It could be from the past. You're feeling nostalgic this month. You're remembering all the beautiful things about love, okay? And this is a beautiful card. Okay, next we'll do the affirmations. First affirmation is uh, Flames of Wisdom, Chrome, number 39 which could be number 12, which equals to number 3. But you take whatever that you feel is for you. And um, this is the affirmation. I am open to all life's wisdom and share it with gratitude. Okay, let's repeat this again. Okay, uh, you see here there's the owls. Okay, and... <laughs> I love this card. And the full moon over here. So it says, I am open to all life's wisdom and share it with gratitude. Next card you got is number 31, which is number 4. It's called Embrace Change. This is why I love my job. Not job, sorry. I said job, but I mean, I love doing this. Okay, I'll explain to you why. Just quickly, quickly. That's why I love my angels. Okay, and I love what I'm doing. Because I am doing a transition right now from the job that I was, that's why I said job. From the job that I am doing, that I've been there 15 years, uh, giving my heart, soul, and um, and uh, my love in, in this company that, I, uh, that I've been working for. And I'm, do, I'm going through a transition to uh, in becoming full-time, doing cards like I can give more time to my clients and to my uh, community and uh, for my tarot readings. And change is coming, okay? Change is coming for everybody. And the thing is, is that when I... Um, <clears throat> Before I started the reading, I took these cards out and they popped out and I put them on the side. I did not even look at them. And I know that whatever the angels are telling me is really 100% accurate. And this is why I'm just telling you this. I wanted to share it with this with you, Virgo, okay? Thank you for letting me share. So embrace change, okay? You see you're here and you're going through a change, okay? A lot of you are resisting, but they want you to walk through it because it's the light. When you come out of that other end of the tunnel, okay, or wherever you, this light is, you're going to be a brand new person, okay? You're going to be evolved in the fifth dimension. I really see this. And uh, so your um, affirmation is, I move easily and confidently through the changes in my life. I move easily and confidently through the changes in my life. Beautiful card, Virgo. Okay, let's see what the chakra has to say. Recovery. Okay, now for O's, I'll try not to get the glare. Recovery, okay? So um, this can mean many things. A lot of you maybe are not feeling well, and the angels are saying that you will recover from whatever you're not, you're not feeling well. If you were sick, there is a recovery on your way. I do believe that some of you have a key. Yeah, you know who I'm talking to. I know you know that I know that you know. <laughs> you have a key. Okay, and I feel that you know what to do with this key. And you are the light. And you will recover. Okay, Virgo, that message before was for someone here. And I know that they know that I know. That they know. <laughs> okay, anyways, that's how, I, that's how it is. A lot of you have the soulmate card. There's a soulmate that's coming in for you. Okay, love, passion, creativity. 
someone that will join you on your journey. There's going to be lots of love, lots of passion. This is a beautiful card. It, you can't even, I just, you just need to look at it. Okay. So heal your heart. Okay. And not last but least, you got number eight. This is from the universe. So number eight again showed up for you. Here we go. And I'm going to read the passage for you. You could look at it and you could tell me what you feel about this card. Trust your intuition because you're really good with your intuition. What I see though is the yin and the yang. I feel like two people coming in together in balance with lots of passion and love. It's a beautiful card. Number eight. Balance. Allow you will become in balance. That's great. I'm really happy to hear this. So this is your uh, message. Life is all about balance, and this card is here to help you create more balance in all aspects of your life, work and play, relationship time and alone time, social time and quiet meditation, physical activity and rest, giving and receiving, fem feminine energy and masculine energy. Balance out, balancing out each aspect of your life will enable you to give your energy to the world in a, in a, in a much more grounded and centered way. Very happy to hear this. It's a beautiful card, don't you see? But it's whatever you feel from it too, right? So a lot of you are going to that. Next card I got for you is number 14, 14, which could be also number 5. Changes are coming. Positive changes. Always think positive. Okay, number 14. Gratitude. There we go. I, you know, <laughs> I love my angels. Gratitude is a very powerful energy which can open both the heart and mind to all the wonder, the wondrous blessings we are given. Take time each and every day to offer your deepest heartfelt gratitude for all that you have and are given. Make a conscious effort to look for all the good that is flowing into your life. Send your love to all of those you cherish and love. Your acknowledgement, your acknowledgement of the divine flow that supports and provides for you opens your energy in a powerful way. You will become your own bright light even in the dark, darkest of times. Wow, Virgo. Um, I just love this card for you. You got two beautiful cards. You got, you know, this is really, I mean, the angels are awesome as well. Number 37 which equals to number 10, which is right path, which equals to number 1, new beginnings. Look how beautiful this card is. You could take a look at it and see what it tells you. You could start using your intuition and feeling, okay? So, um, again, 37. I just have to make sure. Uh, 37. Blossoming. Even simply questioning your life or trying to figure out where and how to move forward moves your energy and aids you in open you, opening you to your higher awareness and divine purpose. Continue with this. Don't let your human mind, with its limited point of view, tell you that you're stuck or not progressing. It isn't true. You are opening, you are flowing, and your soul is blossoming. Keep your faith in both yourself and spirit. Know that you are on the perfect path and that you are opening to your highest potential one step at a time. Wow, Virgo. Um, I'm so happy for this reading that I did for you. You know, um, it, I feel like in my heart right now is very happy for you. Uh, I feel the blessings that are coming in. And um, don't give up, okay, Virgo? You're not far. And I want to thank you uh, very much for listening to the video and watching the video. And... Um, Please, like, you know, uh, keep me in, um, you know, uh, sorry about, I mean to say is thank you, but it also keep me posted what's going on with your life. Always know that I always respond quickly to all your comments. And when I put the like and heart, it's uh, the angels and I are blessing you. Okay, so I want to wish you a beautiful end of November. I hope that everything's going to be okay for you. Please stay, uh, stay grounded. Keep your faith, stay in your heart, and think positive thoughts because <clears throat> at this moment, you are manifesting very quickly. Okay, Virgo? Take care. I love you. Bye.